Hey. Um, today I am going to do a little bit of hobbying with you. I am working uh, for I'm working on terrain for the Danish Nationals still. Um, me and Michael are delivering twelve tables of terrain to the Danish Nationals from the basement club, our club, and um, we thought that maybe we needed to fix a little bit. So I've already done a few videos on hobbying. Uh, on those projects so I've done one video where I talk you through um, a uh, ruined uh, hamlet in France and one where I talked to you uh, through my red factory that's been destroyed um, while I've been doing that Michael has been working on his ruined Berlin slash Stalingrad table we don't know whether it will be Germany or um, in, in Stalingrad yet, um, but it will be like a ruined table. So, and he's building a, a, a small park for that and lots of ruins. And he was like, <clears throat> I need something to maybe block a few roads. So I was like, I will deliver linear obstacles. So I am doing these for you today, with you today. I'm doing um, barbed wire sections. That's it. So, um, let me just pick up the mic and the computer and I will take you to the workbench over here. Right. So, here we go. Hopefully I can, uh, I can make you see what I'm doing here. Right. So, <clears throat> I'm going to start. The, the, uh, the things that we need is this it's going to be that inexpensive so tongue depressors coffee stirrers those these are a little bit like chunky so they they actually work some as bases um barbecue skewers something to clip them with so i'm using a nail clipper you could use whatever you're going to need some wire and a thick pen so that is it now, <clears throat> you will also need some PVA glue and a glue gun is also recommended, though maybe not necessary. I am I'm going to use mine, if I can see where I put it. Put it here. Throwing stuff around the room here. Really good TV. <clears throat> right, the glue gun needs to warm up a bit first, so I am just putting plugging that in it will warm up that will give me time to start with building the bases so what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to clip these in mm, less than an inch but like that much I think that'll be the height these are going to be uprights sitting in the barbed wire keeping it in place um, you could, if you really wanted to, you could like make crosses or tripods. I've made a few of those. Like, I don't bother. It's it's easier to do with the, just these uprights. So, again, here I have this little trick. So I've taken the first one. This is the length of the cut that I want for my uprights. I'll just place it next to the... Um, the barbecue skewer and use it as a measurement <laughs> and it's really hard for some reason there we go so that means that i can get the same length on all my uprights and i'll just make a bunch i think i'm going to make with you guys i'm going to make two of these right now um and I have a few nice signs with German, like, writing on them. I think they'll be a part of it too. So I'll make a few uprights that are a little bit larger, taller, um, so that I can do signs as well. Here we go. Whoop. -a. So three tall ones and a bunch of the small ones. Here we go. Right, <clears throat> let me just put you up on a pedestal. 
pedestal so you can see what I'm actually doing at the workbench. Right. <clears throat> Almost as if I planned it, right? <laughs> right. <clears throat> so, I have a few of these uprights. I have a few of these uprights. And now, I'm going to make this. Right? That's, that's the thing I'm going to do here. So, not warm enough yet. It's getting there. <clears throat> if you haven't watched my video on how to do these signs, go and, and watch that. I, I did a, a full video and, and you can do quite nice little like objectives or what have you. I made a bunch of these, like 50 or something, um, for uh, for the Danish Nationals. And I think I would want a couple of these to be like signs hanging over the barbed wire, so keep away, something like that. Right? So that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> now, let's see if this should, this should be warm enough now. Now, the reason I'm using a hot glue gun for this is that I need these to bond fairly quickly otherwise they will just not stand up so using pva does not really work for this and i will put down one here at the edge i think i'll put down one of the tall ones here as well because i want there to be a sign in the middle of this one and a second one Pretty close to the first of the tall, tall ones here, because I want the, t the signpost to have two of these uprights. Yeah, that should work. Just measuring if the sign fits, and it does. Now I want a small <coughs> upright here at the end to grab a hold of the wire in a minute, like that. And again, wisps. As someone rightly commented in my last video, these silicon wisps, um, if you hit them with some sort of naked flame, they just melt away. But they're still annoying. So, this is what I've done. This is the first one. I'll do one more here. <clears throat> so again, I'm taking one of these to be the uprights. Putting it down on the end here. Doing one more the other end I think I'll put down one here in the center and then one of the tall ones because uh, we might want a, one more signpost here right and I just hot glued my own fingers to <laughs> to the project right lots of wisps Fucking hate those. I need to get myself a blowgun. Like a like one of those that pastry chefs use to do the tops of creme brulee or something. Just <laughs> Anywho, that is what I'm doing, and I've made a whole bunch of these already. Right, you can see here. So <clears throat> That is going to be the project. The next bit that I'm going to do is I'm going to make the barbed wire itself. Now, for this bit, I take my, my wire, I take the thick pen, and I just hold on to the end of the wire. So, can you see like that? I'm holding, holding the wire to the pen, and I'm just going around the pen making sure not to get the wire in the same place sometimes I'll just push it a little bit aside here going around 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 and it's actually a good idea to just push it in a bit sometimes because that will give you more pen to work with <sighs> pushing it in Sure.
should have made a bunch of these to start with, shouldn't I? So that you guys didn't have to sit here and watch me do this. Something is off with my wire here. I think I'll cut it here because the wire is not behaving like that. Okay. Okay. So here on my pen, I have a bunch of, of uh, rolled up wire now. <coughs> it needs to be as tightly fitted as I can make it. Because the more tight I fit it, the better the round shape comes out of the slinky, which is going here. Ta-da! And we have barbed wire. <coughs> Perfect. Now <coughs> I need to apply it to one of these. So I'll just push these aside. I'll take the first one we made with the two big uprights, right? I need to apply it. Now, in order to do that, we're going to have to push it down onto, so like this. So I'm going to have, the the uprights are going to have to go into the actual uh, slinky bits here, like to make sure that we can, wow, just broke off one of the uprights here. Just a sec. We'll redo that one. More glue. Hot glue is brilliant like this. It really works well. Right. Okay. I will do the other one because that needs to just cool down a bit. Right. Okay. I'm doing this one. So. I need to fit it first. So I put it down here. I don't put it all the way down. I'm just putting it a little bit above because what we're going to do now, and this is the most fiddly part, um, is I'm going to give little globules of hot glue on the actual tongue depressor, coffee stirrer thing. And I'm going to press the barbed wire down into it to keep the barbed wire on the actual piece of terrain here. So I'm going to do here a little bit of hot glue and then pressing it down. Can you see? Now, this should hold it, and it does. This should hold it in place. I do that between all the uprights to keep it in place so that it doesn't like float off the ground. And then the final one, I'm going to do that. Yeah, the, the final upright, I think. Here we go. And need to get some of it in. And there we go. That's another one. So, next process on, on this little bit here is I'm going to glue down a sign, signpost. It's going to be glued here. And I'm going to give this some sand. I'll just let this set a bit. And take one here. This one hasn't got the sand yet. So I'm taking a brush and some PVA. Now this is a little bit fiddly. <clears throat> the PVA needs to go on the base. And by now the barbed wire is all stuck to the base. So some of it will get on the barbed wire. Okay. Won't be that noticeable once it's all finished. But it is unavoidable and it's not intentional. So I'm going down as much of it as I can on the coffee stirrer here and as little as possible on the barbed wire. There we go. Now for this, I have my trusty mix of grit and bricks and sand and stuff that I've made. Let's see here again. 
So this is a mix of all goodness, and I'll just I'll dip it in. Get rid of that. And there we go. Ready to be painted. Just a little bit that's stuck on the barbed wire. That'll get out easy enough. Cool. I have another piece ready for the paint table. Um, so I've already made three of these. And that's how you make your barbed wire, basically. That is the easiest, cheapest way of making barbed wire, and you can make so much of it. So if you're going to run your <coughs> Luftwaffe field Div division force with 60 inches of barbed wire, or if you just need something for terrain, that's the way to do it. I am going to build more of these because I need to make at least 10 pieces for that table. So um, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.